let him serve 10 years of that 30-year sentence and then as a condition of his release uh, have the castration performed. That's what Stephen Bunyard and his attorney asked the judge to consider during a hearing to revoke his parole. His attorney told me Bunyard violated his parole by not paying court fees, leaving the state and getting a DUI in Tennessee. Is given his age and his, um, you know, his health, his overall health is not uh, excellent. Um, he knew, or I believe in his view, 15-year consecutive sentences would have essentially amounted to a life sentence for him anyway. Stephen Bunyard has three sex crime convictions dating back to the 80s. Two of his victims were over the age of 60. His request for castration, while unusual, um, you know, it was not just an attempt to get out of trouble or to uh, get Scott free. Thursday, he went back to court for a hearing on rape charges from April. The woman told investigators she knew him for about 10 years, but not by his real name. An investigator testified the victim waited days to report it because he had made her swear in a Bible and was afraid of him. The victim claimed she'd given Bunyard food and tried to help him. He won't be getting out of jail for at least 30 years, and if he's convicted of rape, he'll be facing life without parole.